Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is CCG coming to you with a new video. If this is your first time watching, please make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. And I want you to come back again. So before I get into this video, today I'm doing something totally different than I normally do. And the title of this video is Divorce sugar. You heard me. Divorce sugar. Because sugar has a very, very large effect on your body. And so I'm going to speak from my experience having dealing with eating and eating certain things that's not good for my health. And I don't know if you've been able to tell that I've been losing some weight because I care about my health and I care about what I put into my body. No more. <laughs> well, I listen to that sugar demon telling me to go, oh girl, you know you want that daggone donut. Just go get the box. Don't, don't worry about just eating one. Just go ahead and eat the rest of them. Oh, you like them red hot potato chips, girl. Mm. Why you going to fool yourself and get that little bag? You know you want that big bag. And you're going to finish it off too. You know, I've done that on so many occasions. And, you know, I've always been the person that loves sweets. And being a diabetic, especially a type 2 diabetic, um, I had to really take responsibility about what I'm putting into my body. The only way I'm getting sicker and sicker is because I'm making myself sicker and sicker. And I had to really change the way I'm thinking about my health and what I put in my body. You only get one body. And, you know, being that I love the Lord and things like that, I can't keep defiling my temple with things that are going to continue to make me sick. So you're going to have to take responsibility for the things that you do and the things that you eat. Nobody can put that fork up to your mouth but you. So you're going to have to decide if your health is more important or is that bowl of sugar more important? Because at the end of the day, you're still going to be feeling lousy and you're going to be feeling ashamed because you sat there and indulged on that stuff. So I know some of y'all might click this off because, you know, reality is hitting you in your face right now. But I'm only telling you because I care about you and your health is really important. And one of the reasons why I went this route is because, you know, seeing my health, you know, results when I go to the doctors and things like that. Um, being diabetic, I had to really be careful, you know, because if you your sugars are too high, then you're going to be wanting to drink more, pee more, and your sugar levels will be off the chart. And I've had that before. And my sugar levels would go to like 200 or even three at times because, you know, I might have ate too much of this and that. And then I'm starting to feel tired, groggy, and I start to like feel weird when my glycemic index goes up. And to me at this point, you know, I, I've always been like the candy queen, especially growing up. Um, as a teenager, whatever, I was the one. I was uh, Big CC was the one. Everybody rolled to, you know, because I had it all, honey. Yes, I did. And I would eat it, and I would get that that sugar, you know, just want more and more and more, and I would just enjoy eating them candies because I love, let me see, back in the day, I used to eat the Alexander the Great, Lemon Heads, um, Now Laters, Fireballs, Twizzlers, m ms Snickers, I like all that back then. And as I get older, you know, your body starts to, it's aging. So you want to do the best that you can to preserve what God has given you. So I just made up in my mind and you know how you think a certain way and then you realize that light bulb goes off in your head and then you finally get it. That all this food that they put out to us and especially in the United States, they give us garbage, basically, to eat. And some countries don't even allow some of the things that we're eating over here. But if you ever thought about it, why do they even sell this food to you? 
because they know it's very tempting and it's addictive. And so it's sugar, carbohydrates, whatever. Anything that's not good for your health, that's a that's an addictive. You can be a food addict. It ain't just drug addiction. You can be a food addiction addict. And so I just had to just totally like, you know, I had to really, really be, be strong and just say, no, you don't need it. And, you know, and being a diabetic, you got to watch your kidneys and your liver. And then like one of my um, blood results, I saw it was in the red. And I'm like, uh, you know, but they were saying that's because you keep eating this sugar. If you don't get it under wraps, you're going to have more problems in the future. You think you got problems now, you're going to have more problems in the future. So you better think about what you put into your body. You know, because these people out here, the industries that are making this food out here that has all these different ingredients. And I'm not, you know, I ain't going to say certain words because, you know, uh, people like to uh, pluck you off the circuit. But anyway, I digress. But you need to really make a very, very good choice and decide, you know, what you're going to do for yourself and for your body because you only have one life to live, honey, and you need to live, live it to the fullest. And so I say divorce it, and I have divorced it. And sometimes I have to really watch because right now I wear the Freestyle Libre 3, and it's a continuous CGM meter, which means I wear it on me. And that's why most of the time I have to have my phone near me because mine is connected to my phone. They do have a little uh, device that you can carry in your purse or in your pocket. But I am constantly watching what my numbers are because I'm trying to keep them in the green. I don't want them to go into the yellow and the orange. It's like an orange red. I don't want that. So I'm really paying close attention to my time and ranges and my numbers because I want to keep it down. I want to get to the point where I don't have to wear this mask no more. It's time out for all this. I'm, I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of hurting. You know, when you have inflammation, you know, sugar gives you inflammation. You wonder why your neck hurt, your leg hurt, your back hurt, your arm hurt. It's because you keep eating the sugar. Quit eating it. As simple as that. You got to love yourself and love your health more than sugar. Sugar, it will kill you. It's an abuser. It'll abuse your body, your mind, everything. It'll abuse your whole body. You go, Then you wonder why you hurting. Because that sugar, that donut, it kicked your butt. That's what it did to you. So just stop it already. But I know for me, I had to come to, I had to come to grips because I don't not only have myself to live for, I have the work the Lord has wants me to do. And my my time is not done. I will continue to do as best as I can, even though I have some physical challenges, but I I believe in God for my full and complete and total healing. And, you know, um, but it's some things that I have to take responsibility and do. It ain't going to happen. This ain't no magic trick. You're going to have to put some work to it. And so um, I would just admonish you, you know, to just really take a really deep look inside yourself and try to figure out, you know, what is the root of why I'm eating like this, you know? And so, or what's causing you to eat like this? And sometimes, you know, you have to be careful about who you associate with. Because sometimes people, people around you that's living that type of, you know, they don't care about what they eat and stuff. They can be a stumbling block to you. So you have to be careful with that too. Because some people like to sabotage you. And I'm not that, don't, don't do it to me. Because I will, you're going to get dismissed, period. Because I've been working hard. And so, um... You know, being in the garden, and you see me on my videos, I got my cane, and I'm trying and trying and trying to keep going, stay active as much as possible. I might have to take 100 breaks, but I'm trying to keep myself busy, and that helps me to exercise my body when I'm out there, because it's hot out there, and I'm just perspiring, but I'm moving and taking breaks, and Things like that, but you have to you have to love you first. 
If nobody else loves you, love you. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's all about you, period. But I just want to also say that um, since last year, now last year, mind you, I was 326 pounds. Well, as of today, I got on the scale and I have lost 50 pounds since last summer. So I'm really proud of myself for losing the 50 pounds. I got some more I want to go to go um, through and get rid of because I still got some roses. I got to get rid of it. I got to go. It's got to go. Okay. So I'm going to get it all done with the Lord's help. And that's it. So I don't think I'm trying to come down on you. But it's really important that you take care of your body and your health. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Make sure you put your, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to put, turn on your post notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.